Caddis Maximus here, this time with my favorite small precision ruler, the Sterrett C305R. MSRP is 25 bucks. You can find them for 20 to 25 bucks. It is expensive. For a little ruler that just fits in your hand, a thin little ruler, you'd say, why on earth is it so expensive? Well, it's actually, a pre this is a machinist ruler, and these are real precise. The dimensions, the squareness, the evenness of uh, the measurements. It's 461 wide. I'm not exactly sure why that is. Um, it's very precise. The six inches is very precise. It has a flat end, so it is actually can be used as a straight up six inch gauge. And these are known as the flex, small flexible machinist rules, where such as this SPI is a standard one. The other difference that you'll find is one side will be fractional. It's really hard to see, but we have tenths and, or excuse me, the back side would be 30 seconds and 60 fourths. And I do like the way that they offset it. There we go. To where, depending on what me measurements you're taking, uh, it's easier to see whether you're at a 16th or a 12th, just because they're not all in line, but they're offset, which is real wise for them to do. And then, of course, on the back side, you have tenths and hundredths of an inch. So that would be 0.1 inch measurements, and this would be 0.01 inch measurements. And that hundredths of an inch is super fine. Really, you can just see how fine that is. Now, the quality of these tools, such as the rulers, uh, Sterrett may not be the best, and you know, certainly lots of opinions about tools, but I do like this little ruler, and it is expensive, really, for just a small piece of sheet metal, but it is made very well. There's extremely good definitions, and that's, you know, it's a good baseline. I'll show you in a microscope. I have an SPI here, which is a standard machinist rule. This is a rigid rule, where that would be considered a flexible rule, and if we look at this one, we'd say... It's pretty similar. If we look at these uh, graduations here, you can see that they both look pretty nice. But you can actually see, I don't know if on your screen, but I'm getting a Muir effect on the Sterrett, but not on the SPI. And I'll show under the microscope. You really need a microscope. You even need a magnifying glass. You can't see hundredth of an inch tick marks. Um, but the Sterrett is manufactured very well. Those are different from precision rules, such as this uh, GC, there, excuse me, this general tools one, or maybe this Veracut one, which is kind of both because it does have 50s, or this Indian made one. These are precision rules, and they're made to be held by your hand, so that's why they have the little uh, rounded uh, extra portion. So these are precision rules, but these are general use. And the thing that would set them apart really from machinist rules is that machinist rules have decimal fractions and then regular fractions, one on each side. But let me show you the um, quality here. So you can see now we're not actually looking at the stair. We're looking at the SPI. And uh, you can see that for how tiny the text is on this SPI, it seems to be okay. When we're looking at a microscope, you would expect just a little bit of warbling around the zeros and around the S. If we go down to these hundredths of graduation, so each one of these black lines is ten thousandths of an inch or 0 0.01 inches apart. And you can see there's some inconsistency, but for such fine detail stamping and then coloring, you'd say, well, that doesn't really look so bad. But actually, let's take a look at the Sterrett. Now here's the Sterrett, and you can see how just consistent this is we're zoomed in quite a bit with this microscope and you can see where the lettering is just really smooth really tight and accurate and if we go down to the graduations on this little stair you can see just how darn consistent they are they are really nicely done uh, the stamping is really pretty accurate on stair tools so that's my quick little video these things are just great when you I use them all the time when I'm not all the time, I should say that, but I do use these relative or this one relatively often just because it's real nice to have uh, just to get a pretty accurate measurement, like when you're pressing on bearings and you can't always get, you know, various other measuring tools in there. And it's just nice to have a just a small, compact, really high resolution ruler. Of course, they make them in various lengths, you know, up to 24 inches. And just wanted to talk about it, where certain things like from Sterrett really do show the difference, where it would look real similar. SPI really isn't that bad, but when you get it under the microscope, and you'd notice that. You notice that when you're looking at the fine graduations on the SPI, they're just a little bit more blurry, or they're just really defined on the Sterrett. And I should mention, there are other precision rules that look like machinist rules, but they're just uh, precision rules, such as this Miller's Falls, which is only infractional. Anyway... 
I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.